Hello, welcome to this tutorial on creating Microsoft Word and PDF document based on MS Form Responsive. In this video, I will walk you through the entire process from setting up your MS Word template to capture the information from Microsoft Form and then how we can convert that Word document into a PDF document using Power Automate Flow. So let's get started. I have navigated to forms.office.com or you can click on this app launcher and you can select forms from there. I have a product feedback form. If I click on that, there are only three questions. How much you rate our product? One to five star. Will you recommend our product to others? And then there are option yes, no, or maybe. And then the comments. This is a very simple form. The first thing we will convert this form on submission to a Word document and then we will convert that Word document to a PDF document and send it via an email. First, let's create the Word document. Let me create a heading here. I'm just calling it product feedback. And then we have three questions as we have on the form. First one is rating. And second one is, will you recommend us? And the third one is comments. Now we need to add some custom fields here. We can fill this information when the form is submitted. To do that, we need to look for the developer tab in Microsoft Word. I cannot see that developer tab available here. So I'll click on file and from the left bottom, I will click on the options and then I will select customize ribbon. And then in the right hand side, I need to select the developers tab. So I will select and click OK. Once I do that, I will see the developer tab available here. I will select that. We need to add the plain text control fields here. I will put my cursor here under the rating and then I will click on it. It will add our first control and then I will move my cursor here and then I will click again to add our second control and then I will move my cursor just after this comment and then I will add another control here. Now if I go back to the first control, I've selected that control. I'll click on the properties so we can give it a title. I will just call it rating. We'll click OK. Now I will select the second control, go to properties. I will just call it recommend, click OK. The third control, I will select that and go to properties. And then I will call it comments and click OK. Now we have the Word document ready with all the fields available. So we can capture all the form responses into this Word document. Next, we need to upload this Word document to either OneDrive or on a SharePoint site. Flow can actually read this template document. For that, I will click on file and then I'll click on save. In terms of the location, I can select a site. On the sales team site, under document library, I'm creating this feedback template Word document and I will click on save. Now the file is saved successfully. I will click close. Now if I navigate to sales team site, now under sales team site, I can see that feedback template Word document. If I click on it, I can see the document here. So that's the template we will use to fill in the information. We'll close that for now. Let's go ahead and create our flow. I will go to make.powerautomate.com. From the left hand menu, I will click on create. This will be an automated cloud flow and it will trigger on the Microsoft form submission. I will select automated cloud flow. I will give this flow a name. I will just call it product feedback. And the trigger will be when a new response is submitted. I will click on create. I will trigger and select the form ID. So the form is product feedback. I will select that form. Next, I need to add an action. Click on add an action. And then the action will be get response detail. That action we need so we can retrieve the detail of that form submission. For the form ID, I will select again the product feedback. And then for the response ID, I will select a dynamic value from the previous action response id okay we are done with that step let's just close the copilot for now okay we have two steps next we need to populate that microsoft word template with this information submitted in the form so i will click on plus sign and add an action i will start typing populate ms word under word online heading we can see populate a microsoft word template we will use and then later we will use word to PDF as well. First, let's populate a word template. 
location for the template is the sales team side so i will select the group which is sales team i can select that group now sales team and then the document library we put this under the main document library and the file we need to select if i click on this open folder and then i can select feedback template file so as as we provided the file it is giving us some parameter if i click on show all it recognized that there are three custom controls on that word document which we can fill in using the power automate flow so for the comments if i select that and go to add dynamic value and from the get response detail can pass comments to it and then rating i can again get the dynamic value and how much you rate our product that's the field on the form i will pass that to the rating column and then for the recommend i will pass that will you recommend our product to others that information will go into the recommend control in the microsoft word document so we are done with this step now let's create this document into a shape and library once the microsoft word template is populated with the data we will save that microsoft file in shape and library and then we will convert it to PDF. next step will create a file click on plus sign, add an action we will select create file action of sharepoint we can select the same site which is sales team. and in terms of the folder path we can again say the shared document our main document library the file name we can say it product response hyphen we need to give it a unique value for that i can click on this expression and say utc now function so it will append the utc now so the current time to this file name and then i will pass the file extension which is dot docx so that's the extension of the file the complete file name will be the product response hyphen time and then dot docx for the file content i will select dynamic value again from this previous action i will select max of word document as a file content or okay we are done with that action so far max of form response submitted we are getting the response detail we are populating the word document template based on the response detail and then we are saving that file into a sharepoint library let's convert that microsoft word file to pdf for that i will click on plus sign add an action i will search for world online action the action we need is convert to pdf for the location we will select again the sales team site we got that selected and then for the document library is a document library this is where the file is going to be created and the file name will provide a dynamic value create file action is going to be body name the name of the file or folder this will convert that word document we have saved in the previous step into a pdf document now we have a PDF document we can either do create file again to save that pdf document in a different library or we can just send it via email for this demo, I will do a different action. I can just send that PDF email. I will click on plus sign, add an action. I will select an email notification action. I will select an address. I will just select my address for now. In the subject, I will just say product response. And then in the body, I will just say new response received. And if I show all, and if I click on the file content to send as an attached, and then I will click on the dynamic value. And then from the previous action, we have this PDF document. I will select that as an attachment. And the attachment file name, I can just call it product response.pdf. I will click on save. Our flow is completed now. So let's recap this flow. First, we are waiting for a form response. Then we are getting the detail of the form response. Then we have created already a Word document template. We are populating that information from the form response into the Word document. Then we are saving that document into a SharePoint library. And then from that location, we are picking the document and converting that Microsoft Word document into PDF. And then finally, we are sending that PDF document in an email. Now let's submit the form so we can trigger the flow and test it. I will go to the product feedback form. How much you rate our product? Five star. Will you recommend our product to others? Yes. And then for the comment section, I will say, this product looks awesome and click on submit your answer has been submitted hopefully this will trigger the flow 
and copy the information from the form response into a Word document and then from there it will generate a PDF. I'm already seeing that email. So the email is here, new form response received. If I click on this PDF document in attachment and if I click on open, I can see I can see the PDF document is generated for the rating five star recommendation. Yes. And the comment, this product looks awesome. Let's go back and check the SharePoint site. Now we can see that we had this feed template document here and the flow have created a word document first. And then from the word document, it then converted to PDF and then to us. So if we look at the workflow history, we can see the flow ran successfully form submitted we got the response detail we populated the word template we created a file we converted the document to pdf and then we sent it via the email and we can see the email has an attachment as pdf document and when we clicked on it we were able to see the pdf document with all the data which was initially submitted as part of the form response thank you very much for watching this video hopefully you have learned how easily you can convert microsoft form responses into word and pdf documents and you can circulate them as you wish consider subscribing if you're new to the channel by pressing the red subscribe button below this video click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos as i upload new videos every week give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful if you have any question regarding this topic or any other query you have related to microsoft power platform add in the comment section below i review the comment on daily basis i'll be happy to answer your question thank you